Hi guys, <coughs> this is Svein on the SRS channel and today we're gonna have a look at the uh, 1-6 scale Connor figure from the Assassin's Creed uh, 3 game and uh, it's made by Damn Toys and uh, yeah uh, this is the outer box just to give you a look at that it has a nice picture of Connor on the front there kneeling on some rocks and stuff and the graphics continue on the side here around on the back and on the other side with the Assassin's Creed 3 logo and you have the same logo on top and I wonder yeah, it's the same logo on the bottom and that's pretty much it for the outer box Inside, you find this box with a nice display window, and it also has the Assassin's Creed 3 logo, uh, his uh, American given name Connor, and uh, <coughs> his Indian name, which I'm not gonna even bother trying to to pronounce but uh, yeah that's the front of the box got a nice pose of Connor there with the Assassin's Creed 3 logo on the side the logo on the back with some uh, credits and stuff here another picture of Connor on the side as well as his uh, name on the bottom along with his Indian name and uh, yeah as I said it's a nice display window so yeah that's pretty much it for the packaging so let's open it up and have a look at the contents inside of the box you find a stack of two clamshells the top one contains the figure and uh, four pair of extra hands we'll have a better look at the accessories later and in the second clamshell you find the base which is a Snowway Wildemark diorama piece with some uh, uh, lumber and stuff there and as well you have the wide array of weaponry and uh, yeah that's the arrangement of the contents in their clamshells so uh, I'm gonna take everything out and display them on the table and we'll have a better look at the figure and uh, here is everything taken out of the box and uh, arranged as they were packaged in the box and uh, yeah, uh, you get extra set of uh, wrist pegs, that's cool. And uh, yeah, uh, you also get this stand, uh, if I can focus, with the Assassin's Creed 3 logo here. Uh, mine has some, I need to clean it up, got some smudge there, uh, yeah, it's like a wilderness uh, diorama with this uh, piece of lumber legging, uh, lying here, some rocks all covered in snow on this uh, black base. And there's the underside with all the licensing stuff. Uh, it feels uh, like it would grip for the most part, but uh, be careful. It could also be a slider. Uh, and yeah, hole for the base. One thing I'm not 
too happy with though is the sculpting piece. It's very obviously that the lump here and the rest here are two different pieces. You can see the seam. I wish it wasn't that apparent though, but maybe, yeah, anyways, that's the base of it. It's got some smudging here too. Uh, yeah, normal stand, crotch grabber, and you jam it really good in there and um, yeah it's not going anywhere and that's the base uh, yeah accessory wise here's, here's the awesome thing this time around uh, we go for the sword first here and Guess what guys, the sword is metal, uh, yeah it's, the whole sword is metal, here's the handle, see the butt end here, butt cap, nicely painted, red and black, and you get this nice length here of a saber. It's it's sharp too. You can you can kill somebody with this one. So yeah, that's the saber. And there another one. It's a beautiful piece. Uh, it's his tomahawk. Uh, shaped in the logo of the assassins a shape here uh, this is metal too I believe yep this is metal uh, I wonder maybe even the handle is metal too but painted really nice uh, look at the details there you have the feather which is uh, plastic or rubber but be careful so you don't break it uh, two three beads painted red hair nicely done that's the tomahawk Let's see a little bit better on the feathers there they look like and both feathers are in one piece yeah that's the tomahawk and uh, you get uh, two four you get five of these arrows and guess what these are metal too yep Nice, if I can focus, nice shiny metal tip here, and then the stick, which I believe might, it feels like plastic, but this is cold and feels like metal, but uh, I could be wrong, this whole thing could be metal too, and you see the Three feathers and then there. So, yeah, as I said, you get five of these arrows, and moving on to his uh, bow, and this one is plastic, yeah, the string. And uh, yeah, and this one is painted beautifully too. Uh, can go from end to end there, nicely sculpted, 
and painted. All the way through, and you have the string. Get some paintwork here in red, blue, and white. Some sculpted stuff here. If I can keep it in focus. So, yeah, that's the bow. Then you get what seems to me to be a left and right pistol. I would assume uh, this piece seems to be movable. I wouldn't be too sure on the top piece here though because that one is stuck on mine but uh, the other part there seem to move a little bit and they look they look super fragile so be careful uh, trigger doesn't move but yeah nicely sculpted loading pin there I see the handle of the gun there and there so yeah that's the two guns and then over to the signature stuff we have his hidden blades and uh, yeah, uh, uh, this one is uh, closed and this one is open, I assume. And uh, what's new about uh, his hidden blade is that uh, after he has extended it, he can turn it and hold it like a knife and stab with it. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, yeah. That's the hidden blades, if I can hold them a little bit better, like so. Nicely sculpted and painted. A little bit of tiny smudge that's there too. But yeah, damn toys are awesome at weathering stuff. Really awesome. So, yeah, and over to the hands, <clears throat> you get a pair of left and right hands. And the fist, close hair, nicely sculpted, nicely painted. That's the fists. <clears throat> I also get a pair of uh, open hands or relaxed hands. Nicely sculpted and painted here as well. You also get this uh, bow holding hand. Left and right, nicely painted and sculpted as well, and then you get left and right uh, st string holding hand. As you can see there, and in addition there's an extra set of hands on the figure, so let's move on to Connor himself. Straight out of the packaging, uh, the Connor figure comes with a plastic bag covering his head. It comes with plastic bags covering his, 
covering his uh, feet and he have plastic covering his hands and to remove them you have to remove the hand entirely like so and if you can there there is also a piece of plastic around his neck and be careful when you remove it so you don't lose his necklace and uh, here is the figure so moving in close on his head sculpt and yeah I like it really nicely done see the war paint on his uh, cheeks there Yeah, better be careful with this to here locks here and there's <laughs> so you don't rub them off by accident and you also have his uh, ponytail here it's sculpted, sculpted on so be careful with that as well I'm going to do a quick scroll hand here. You have the front of the figure. Nicely done boots. the buttons here and you have the assassin symbol be careful with that so you don't break it but you probably will have to adjust it somehow somewhat out of the box and uh, yeah I also get this uh, necklace here it's sculpted in plastic uh, quickly going down the back here, you can see his quiver, nicely sculpted and painted, gun holsters, pouches and everything, feathers here, they are all plastic as well. Going down the back here. Nicely done. done. This uh, bands around his uh, arms here with the feathers, they can move up and down. So, yeah, both sides here. You see the gauntlet. And the hidden blade. If I can move his arm out, <laughs> there is hidden blade. And while we're at it, uh, the pair of hands that comes on the figure are the gun holding hands, right there, painted. I see there's some spots there, there that, that could need a second coat but uh, you won't see it on display I think. Uh, yeah, and there are, uh, feels like there's some wiring here on the back parts but it doesn't run along along the edges there's uh, 
just a piece going down the center here it seems like but uh, yeah let me uh, get this uh, hood up and put on some of the gear and I'll be right back and uh, here is the figure finally all posed up <coughs> uh, as you can see everything goes on the figure apart from uh, the extra set of hands the extra uh, peg set for the hands and the what whichever part of the hidden blade you choose not to use uh, I also wanted to show off that uh, the gun holding hand can easily hold the gun if I can get some lights on it as you can see this is the best I could manage without risking breaking anything but uh, it's not a really good fit if you can see in there and the shape of the hand pose is a lot rounder than the gun which is actually pretty flat but uh, I suppose if you work it a little bit better putting the hands in some hot water you can make it look a lot better than this but uh, yeah the hands can hold the gun <coughs> and uh, yep I wanted to correct myself about uh, left and right bow holding hands uh, that's not a pair it's the right hand for holding the string and left hand for holding the bow. <coughs> Excuse me. So there are two completely different sculpts. So you're only limited to Connor holding the bow in his left hand and holding the arrow with his right hand. <coughs> Excuse me. So here it's my Connor post up and we're gonna do a quick 360 here just, I just simply post him up with uh, Tomahawk in his right hand and uh, extended uh, hidden blade on his uh, left hand I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna come back to that one in a second. But uh, yeah, this is my pose. And I threw the bow around his shoulder hair, over his shoulder. And I put the uh, saber in the belt. And it keeps turning for some reason. But yeah, uh, eventually the other gun will go back in here though. And I noticed on mine, the quiver actually looks like it's about to split. <laughs> so I might have to worry about that later. But yeah, and there's the post from the back. And uh, yeah. Moving in a little bit closer, getting back to the so-called points of attention here. Uh, as I mentioned, I just noticed that If you can see here, if I move the bow, my quiver looks like it's uh, about to split. Uh, if it does, I might be able to fix it later, but it uh, 
seems like they rushed getting it out of the <laughs> way. They just glued it, put it together and threw it away. They should have held it and wait for it to set, but yeah. It doesn't matter to me because it's not gonna show from the back on display anyways. Uh, the other thing here, be careful when attaching uh, the hidden blade because I discovered it was a little bit more to it than just attaching it uh, it is a simple peg system and you just plug it in but it's tight so make sure that uh, you rotate the piece somewhat near to the position you're gonna have it before you squeeze it in but uh, once it's in there it's in there and you don't want to break the armature piece for the hand which brings me to not just this piece only swivel here uh, and it's tight but it does swivel I tried to get it in a pose where I could use this hand so it's holding the piece like a knife and to do that there is an extra piece there that slides and you got to be careful to not rotate the hidden blade while this piece is, is extended because that might cause it to break so slide, slide it back up carefully and hold the finger over the base piece and rotate the hidden blade carefully in position and that's that and from here you can extend it to the full extension of the hidden blade and uh, what else did I notice uh, yeah the hood is wired just like the other damn toys Assassin's Creed figures and uh, yeah that's it and to finish up the review here uh, I've brought out my damn toys uh, Altair and uh, Edward Kenway figures and smack <laughs> amongst them there you have the Hot Toys Ezio uh, I'm uh, gonna skip on the damn Toys Ezio uh, it's more or less the same figure so I think that if damn Toys should do any Assassin's Creed 2 figure they should be doing this one that left without the stand on a second and we're back here uh, I wish that Damn Toys had went for the Master Assassin version instead. Uh, as you can see it's a black outfit with armor and stuff. And since Hot, Hot Toys already did the, the uh, white version to call it that and there was no need for damn toys to actually do their own so I wish they had they had done the the master assassin version instead with that said 
This is an awesome looking team. These are my four favorite assassins from the franchise. Uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, might have to hunt down a similar stand for this figure now though. But uh, yeah. That's my four assassins. And uh, yeah. That concludes my review on the Damn Toys 1-6 scale Assassin's Creed 3 Connor figure. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, ask in the comments. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.